So hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Stacy J and I am back with a new video. But before we get into that, I first just want to say y'all came back. What? Thank you so much for your continued love and support. I'm getting feedback from um, some of you all about my channel and it's been nothing but positive and amazing things. And so I'm really, truly grateful for that. So I hope you continue to keep coming back. If this is your first time, welcome. I love it here. People are really liking it here. I hope you love it here as well. Um, do me a favor, since you're already here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and hit that like button for me as well and turn on that notification bell so that you can be the first to know when I post new videos all right so let's go ahead and get into it So for years, for those of y'all that know me personally, y'all know that I've been in the restaurant business for a very long time and I've had the opportunity to be a restaurant manager um, two times at two separate restaurants. Um, and a part of my duties as being a restaurant manager was hiring staff. And so, you know, we had you have different types of employees. Um, there's usually th three main ones that you see. You see you have your star player, and that's somebody that comes to work early. Uniform always looks amazing. Um, they're extremely dependable, reliable. They go above and beyond for their teammates. They go above and beyond for guests. Um, they make really good money because everybody just loves them. They have the most regulars. Like those are the type of employees that I personally like to hire for my team. So if I in my in my dream world, if I could have a whole team full of star employees, I would because it would just make the ebb and flow of the restaurant flow really really smoothly. Um, and then you have another type of employee, which is you know I think the category that most people fall underneath, and that's just your average run-of-the-mill middle-of-the-road type of employee you know they're gonna do their job they're gonna follow the rules but you know they're not doing anything extra they're not going above and beyond they're not adding a little extra razzle dazzle or anything like that and in certain jobs that's actually a pretty cool employee to be because you know you're not dealing with hospitality or dealing with you know outside customers or guest services or anything like that and so that actually is probably the best type of employee to have somebody that's just gonna come in do their job and leave you know um, and in restaurant world those type of employees I like to encourage to you know and turn them into star employees so that is what I really like spending my time and energy doing sometimes you would have the misfortunes of getting what this next employee and that is your can't get right employee and y'all know exactly what I mean by can't get right I've never called anybody that to their face but y'all know exactly what I mean when I say that um and it's literally what it sounds like they just can't get right they can't get to work on time they can't get their uniform together they never come prepared once they are at work they you know bumping they're bumping heads with their teammates um you know re they really have issues with management because they don't like following the rules they kind of march to the beat of their own drum do their own thing and it just it's against the grain of how the actual function and flow is of the restaurant you know most of the restaurants that i've worked at have an incredibly high standard of how they want their servers and their employees to be and the can't get right doesn't come anywhere near that type of standard but what ends up happening how they end up getting on the team is um, they interview well and most can't get rights come with a representative and so they'll interview like they're a star employee and hell they'll even have you thinking they're a star employee and you like okay this is cool I like this they're training well they're getting along great with everybody and then it's like all of a sudden overnight after about 90 days that's why most jobs have a 90 day um, probation period because you know they because we have all figured out by now that that's how long it takes for the actual represent for the actual person to to show up <laughs> and the representative to expire right and so for me I would to eliminate even hiring a can't get right I would do my due diligence through, through during the hiring process so I'm looking through resumes and I'm contacting references and I'm really going through their work history and asking them questions about their server knowledge food knowledge um, Nick liquor knowledge um, you know throwing questions at them like what would you do case scenarios you know just to see like where they're at and just kind of kind of gauge in over time I developed really kind of honing in on like who would be a great fit and who wouldn't be but every once in a blue moon it can't get right will slip through the cracks and <laughs> end up on the team and then you know 90 days later we're now having to deal with you know trying to figure out if this is the best fit for them and for us and you know everybody involved right so um, I said all of that to say this 
and I hope y'all see where I'm about to go with this. Um, when it comes to matters of your heart, you can't afford to have a can't get right on your team. You can't afford to have a can't get right by your side. But I think what ends up happening a lot of times is once we identify them as a can't get right, um, when we should just go ahead and cut our losses, because I know in restaurant world, whenever I would see somebody or identify someone as a can't get right, or I'm like, oh, okay, so this is who you really are. Okay. And then they start showing up late, you know, not having everything that they need, constantly calling out or, you know, not coming at all. And, and, um, you know, I would have to then start documenting everything that they're doing so that they either fire themselves or I'll end up, depending on how severe the infraction was, I might just go ahead and let, let you know, let us go our separate ways at that at that time. So, you know, um, and it's just it's a headache. It costs you time. It costs you energy because the thing about it can't get right in um, restaurant world is it's just a distraction. You know, you have so much to do already when you're working to stop and to correct other people's mistakes or to address people that are giving you a hard time about something that should just be like team service, team effort. It becomes a headache and a hassle and it's very disruptive to the team and like just how it's functioning. And so it's my job as a manager to eliminate those issues and eliminate those problems so that they don't cause everybody else to be frustrated and then it just ends up being like a whole chain reaction the same thing in your life you can't have somebody that comes in once you identify them as a can't get right you have them stick around and a lot of times we'll end up being in relationship with the with these guys end up having you know kids with these guys and that's completely unacceptable for you not necessarily on their behalf because they've always been a can't get right they just showed it with their representative they bamboozled us they fooled us which is fine but once you identified who they are you have to snip those scissors and you have to let them go sis and you know I think a lot of times we just get so comfortable with them being around and you don't care if it's toxic or if it's dysfunction you're just happy to have somebody there but the thing about it is are you really happy and if this is a situation where somebody is making you unhappy more than they're making you happy it's a reason to, it's a cause for a pause all right you got to take a step back kind of assess your situation and figure out where you're at to why you're even allowing this or allowing this individual to be around for as long as they're around you know and so I and I'm and I'm speaking from experience because I had an individual I had it can't get right they fooled me oh my god I got bamboos and I was getting good morning texts and you know can't candy and going out on dates and all of that stuff right about 90 days in that representative left and I ain't never seen them since <laughs> okay and when they and then when the real him showed up you know he was just so rude and just disrespectful and we were arguing all the time and I kept saying to myself like what happened to the guy that I was dating three months ago like what happened to him and it's not even like a honeymoon phase situation like they are just a completely different individual and it's because that's who they've been this whole time they were just faking being nice to get what they wanted from you and once they got what they wanted now they can feel like they can just treat you just any old kind of way and when somebody shows you that that is the best time for you to step away not try to hang on and hang on to the potential of an individual or you know hang on to who their representative was because I think as women we do that like we stick around and like well he used to be like this so maybe he'll change back no girl I'm here to let you you know he ain't he not finna change back he's not finna he's not finna do anything different than what he's doing right now in this moment and how he treats you is how he feels about you so if he's not showing you that he cares about you if he's not showing you that he loves you if he's not showing you that he's invested and he's motivating you to pursue your own dreams and your own goals then why is this individual around why is he on the team you have a certain high standard I'm sure for even yourself and the things that you want to achieve and your goals and everything else so why would you allow anybody to come in who's not trying to help you with that who's actually taking away and being a distraction so I know for me in restaurant world I'm not dealing with it I know as soon as they were identified it's time to let them go and I really kind of had to apply that same philosophy when it came to dating as soon as somebody was showing me signs like no they're really not that vested or no you know they're really disrespectful or they have ways about them or you know whatever the case may be it's you got to cut it off and not to say you're just gonna be around here just cutting everybody off you know but if it's not to your standard and if it's not helping you and if it's not motivating you and if you're not in a situation where you feel like you can really grow in love with this person, then why have them around? So I don't know if you've been praying, asking for a sign. This is your sign. <laughs> 
cut him off. And I know sometimes it's a little bit difficult because some of y'all don't want to have babies with y'all can't get rights. And some of y'all don't want to get married to y'all can't get rights. And that's fine too. Well, it's not fine, but you have to understand that you still are the CEO and the restaurant manager of your life. You are still in control, queen. You, your heart is the most valuable thing you were ever owned and possess. And nobody or anything shouldn't have access to it. Think about this. When you go to purchase a home, a nice home at that, when you start talking about them $400, $500,000 homes, right? You can't just walk into the bank and say, I want a $400,000 home. And then they go, okay, here's the loan. Go purchase your home. No, they're about to ask some questions. They're going to vet you out. They're going to you know, what's your background check? What, you know, they're going to do their due diligence. They're going to, they're going to vet out you to make sure that you qualify for that home loan. Same thing if you wanted to purchase a car, you're not just going to walk on a Mercedes car lot and go, oh, I like that. Yeah, go ahead and give me that CLA 250. I want that one right there. And they just hand the keys over to you. Absolutely not. No, you have to go through a vetting, especially if you're financing your vehicle. Now, if you walk in on the lot with some cash money, go ahead, big baller. I ain't mad. <laughs> Hell, buy me one too, okay? Please and thank you. But, uh, you know, if if that's not the case and you have to finance, yeah, they're asking questions because they got to make sure you qualify. Your heart is the most valuable possession you will ever own. And you deserve to have only the top-notch applicants applying for that position. And then it should only be those star players. It should only be those ones that are going above and beyond, doing the extra, making sure that you're good. And of course, you got to do your due diligence and be the same for them in return. But it's a it, it's a it's a equal partnership. It's not one person doing all of the work and then the other person just barely getting by doing the bare minimum, being that average employee or even worse, being that can't get right. You deserve so much better than that. And so I'm here to tell you that you get to say, you get to say so. You get to decide who you want to have in your life and who should be in your life and if they qualify. And sis, if they don't qualify, you need to go ahead and cut your losses and it's going to hurt. But the thing about it is you deserve to have the absolute best in life and that includes the absolute best relationship, a toxic free, healthy, happy relationship. And if all you seem to be attracting are can't get rights, then you need to pause on dating and really go into yourself and figure out well, what is going on with me to why I keep to where I keep attracting all of these negative can't get right dudes, right? So, um, and I have a video, I just did a video on therapy and you know, therapy is a great vehicle and an avenue to figuring out yourself and getting back to 100%, getting back to you knowing your worth to where you can get your star player and have your amazing, healthy, happy relationship. So take this video as a sign. I hope this video helps at least one young lady or one young man, um, you know, cause you might be sitting next to your can't get right and he just heard me say something about therapy. So encourage him to go to therapy, but wish him on, wish him well, sis. <laughs> wish him well but I really appreciate y'all stopping by I love you guys so much thank you I can't wait to see you guys back again next week and until then bye <laughs>